Hello guys, my name is Kaushik and welcome back to Let Code. In this video, we are going to learn about the parameterization concept in Cucumber and also we are going to write two test scenario. One is going to be positive and another one is going to be negative. Let's see how to do that. Okay. So in our previous video, we have written one scenario and then we have created this test runner where we have discussed like what is feature, what is dry run, what is snippets, monochrome, glue. And also we have written the steps definition where we have written our selenium code in it, right? Now let's see how to write multiple features, I mean multiple scenarios within the same feature file. So I'm going to take the same uh, concept, this one, the login scenario. And here I'm going to make some changes. Okay, so this one is basically my uh, login should be success. We already we have implemented, so not a problem. And this one is going to be like uh, login should not be success and here but so already I said like but is basically used to do a uh, negative assertion for example if I go and click on this login and if I use my give my uh, credential as correct one then of course it's going to log in but if I'm going to give something like uh, Kaushik and then followed by some password and if I click on this login button here you can see like we're getting this username or password is invalid right so let's go and take a look in our existing code now. So here like we are user navigating to the book cart application that is also same here clicks on the login button that is also going to be same only this data is going to change right. So here hot Tony and pass on to 34 which is correct one so it's our positive scenario. But here I'm going to pass like Kaushik and the pass what to one okay so this is my wrong password right. Let's make it like pass something like this pass Kaushik. Okay, and here user clicking on the login button, which is same for both the scenario. Here it should be success. In this case, it should be fail, right? Now let's go to our, our runner file, and here I'm going to uh, make the dry run as true, so that we'll see like what are the steps already mapped, and what are the steps that are not mapped, right? So let's go right click, uh, run as, and here I'm going to give us test ng test. Okay, so here you can say like uh, totally we have two scenarios that's why it says like test run two and skip two. Why skip in the sense like of course we didn't execute we just checked whether our steps are glued or also we can say like it is mapped or not. Okay, so here you can see like we have a missing steps one is like enter user enter the name username as Kaushik and password as this and then for by login should fail. Okay, I'm going to copy all the uh, snippets and I'm going to move to my login steps the same feature file I mean same step definition file and here I'm going to paste it okay now of course we have to remove these two lines so I'm going to remove this two so what does this means this is comment we know so let's not worry about this and here it says like throw new cucumber pending exception why this is there in the sense like for example we just copy pasted our code and we assume that we have written our selenium code and we just execute right if there is nothing inside the uh, this function when this is called in the cucumber basically it will throw like there is some exception that is pending exception pending in the sense like you haven't implemented the step so it will throw us error by that we will come to know that okay there is a step which is mapped but the definition is not written completely okay so we are going to remove this because of course we are going to write these steps now okay so enter the username uh, as Kaushik right so I'm going to copy the code from here which is already there and paste over here and only thing I'm going to change is my test data here right similarly I'm going to do the same for the password and here I'm going to enter and here the password is this guy okay so that's it pretty much done now here we have to write a new step where we are going to assert uh, if the test is like this message we are getting or not okay so for example let's go and inspect this guy and if I go to let text path here you can see like we have something like matte error which is going to be my tag name uh, if you want to go to CSS here you can select matte error matte error a role is alert and I think this one is good one okay so I'm just going to click on this get text and I'm going to paste over here okay so this is going to return me a string and I can write some sysout or the expect condition okay so let's go with the expect condition this time so I'm going to bring up the 
test ng expect okay uh, sorry asset not expect asset so here i can say like assert which is coming from your org dot test ng okay assert dot and here i can say like equals assert equals and this is the actual one so actual we are getting from the page and what is expected so we are expecting this to be there okay so um, yeah let's go and remove the white spaces since we have like a lot of white spaces i'm going to make it like dot trim okay so basically we are just getting the text using the get text and we are doing trim so the spaces after and before and after will get removed and then we are expecting this one okay here we are writing but login should fail that means our test case should pass but the scenario is negative assertion so that's why like here we are writing this kind of assertion here okay i hope you are able to understand this okay now let's go to our runner file let's run this and confirm whether it's runner running or not okay i'm going to execute both these scenarios so run as test ng test and of course it is not going to execute because we have dry run but if i go up here you can see like we don't have any missing implementation so let's make it false i'm going to negotiate this that means like if it's true negotiation is false right that's it so let's go and run this now again so when we have two scenarios basically it's like two individual test so both will run in same different browser okay so this is the positive which got passed absolutely fine and this guy is my negative test where it should yeah username or password is incorrect that we got okay and the browser is still open because we didn't write the driver.quit within this particular function okay i'm going to close it manually and here if i go uh here you can say like okay i missed the dot basically so here you can say like this is our test failure okay so assertion assert so got failed okay so here like expected username as password is incorrect but found username as password is incorrect with a dot so if you go to the application here you can select there is a dot but i missed the dot here that's why it got failed okay so i'm going to give the dot here and also i'm going to use the driver dot quit so that the browser will get get quit okay now let's go and run this one more time just to confirm like we are able to run successfully okay one test got got passed and the second test is also passed so here no failure no skip two scenarios run 12 steps everything looks cool okay so login should success that is also passed and login should not be success that is also passed so this is my result test result okay that's it so pretty pretty simple right but here if you see we have repeated the code right so enter username as this one enter user enter password as this one we are writing the same code repeatedly for both these scenarios okay of course the test data is different but the test step is very same right so what we can do is we can use the parameterization concept here okay so i'm just going to enclose this within the double quotes okay so here it's going to be like atony and this guy is also within the double quotes double quotes means what double quotes means what of course it's a string right so we can have like string or integer but in selenium so in case accept only uh, strings not string actually it's a like character sequence but mostly we give within double quotes that means string right so here also i'm going to do the same so i'm just going to give like koshik and this is going to be my pass 1 to 3 okay now we have already implemented the steps but still if i go and run this as a dry run let's see what happens is basically going to tell us that hey you haven't implemented one step and that step is this one so here you can say like enter the username as and then followed by string enter the password as and then followed by the string I mean, and in the argument we are getting like string of string okay what does it mean in the sense like basically uh here what we have done in the step definition if you go here enter the username as ortony we have given like ortony and here i have let me copy and paste this above so that you will get a clear idea yeah so enter the username as ortony enter the username as kaushik same concept for the password 
okay till here till the username both are same based on this data my function name is getting changed right so which is like repeated we don't have to do that okay so i'm just going to comment all the four steps here select and give like control shift slash that will do the comment okay now go back to your uh, did i miss anything yeah i missed this yeah let's go back to our console and let me copy this to function and i'm going to paste here okay and see the bt now so this is basically my username so i'm going to make it like username and this is going to be my password okay so this is your java string concept the same parameters called concept okay data type a string and the variable name it can be anything abc also fine but of course username and password makes sense but here it is like your cucumber syntax okay if it's string you have to give it like string if it's number you have to give it like int okay that is how it works okay so make sure it is enclosed within the uh, parenthesis and the data type is string okay here the string s is small don't make it as cap you will end up with some exception okay and within that of course the same code like whatever we have written so far i'm just going to copy this guy and paste over here and dots and keys and the data and what is the data data is username okay that's it now let's go back to the password thing and let's copy this guy paste over here dots and keys okay after seeing this you might have a question like hey kaushik this username and password we are entering in the first step so you should write on the top of the class why we are you are writing at the end of the class so cucumber doesn't work in that way it doesn't say like where the my step definition like it doesn't execute on the way like one after one basically it just go to the steps and it will see like where the step is there step definition is there and it will just execute okay that's a very simple thing okay now let's go back to our runner file and let's go and run this now so we have dry run and we are expecting there should not be any step definition missing step definition so here you can select we don't have any missing step definition now i'm just going to make it like comment comment in the sense like by default dry run value is false so it will start execution okay that guy got passed and another guy also got passed okay so here you can select we have got some data like um this is the page title basically and this is like two scenarios passed 12 steps passed and it took around like 12 seconds which is very cool and some meta information okay so that's it this is how we have to write the parameterization what is the actual use case of this parameterization in the sense like uh, when we have the same steps but with the different data we can just make it like now we can go step further and we can write this in the same scenario with multiple datas that is what scenario outline is meant to be we'll discuss that in the next video i hope you have understood the concept of parameterization and also how to write the but scenario okay and if you see here when we say like but login should fail but when we generate the step it says like when login should fail and even your cucumber works right as i told in the first or second video i believe this doesn't mean at all in the classes okay when i write like even if i write given when then but whatever the at the rate the annotation doesn't really matter to cucumber it just go and check for the the string whatever is there okay and one more thing like here enter the username as and then we have a space so make sure your future file and your step definition file also has the same spacing or else if i remove the spacing here it will just do the concatenation kind of like okay so it will just take that also as a uh string okay so spacing is also an issue in cucumber like most of the time if you dry run and if you take the code snippet from the console that's fine or else you might end up in some exception
okay you can explore that and if you have any queries feel free to ask me in the comments thanks for watching see you in the next one very soon tata bye bye take care